Hello Stampers! My name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Denver, Colorado and this is my buddy Puccini. Puccini keeps me company in the craft room. I'm glad you could join me today. We have a very fun card from you using the Rustic Harvest stamp set uh, or suite and uh, let's just get started. This is my card and um, I have used um, Cajun Craze and some of the papers from this beautiful um, paper suite that comes with the Rustic um, Harvest. And I used this paper. And uh, on mine, I cut off this in half and then just trimmed this down to four... Uh, five and a quarter by three to make this panel and if you were to do that what I'd suggest is that you cut this down the middle and then shorten it from the bottom because all that's at the bottom are these stems and if you cut it from the top you'll end up cutting off these butterflies now you won't get a butterfly in every panel but um, it won't be chopping them off like I did in this one um, and the rest of these papers are all in the same basic color theme and the back sides are black. Here's the green that I used uh, on my card there. Here is uh, the, the yellow. Puccini's getting into something he's got no business getting into. Um, and there's pumpkins and uh, these gourds and uh, there's a beautiful Cajun craze page. Um, lots of different colors and it's very, very pretty. But let me tell you what it takes to make this card. I used a white A2 base that is eight and a half by five and a half scored and folded at four and a quarter. Then you need two pieces of Cajun craze that are four by five and a quarter for layering, one on the inside and one on the outside. Let me show you the inside of this. I just stamped this little flower down here. Now, um, then, oh, let me show you the stamp set in the dies. The stamp set is called Hello Harvest, and it uh, has a leaf, a flower, a spray of flowers, this lovely banner. Um, you are such a blessing, hello, and a big pumpkin, you are missed, and some little flourishes. So on this one, um, what I used was this piece, and I turned it sideways and did two of the leaves kind of coming away from it and then I colored this piece. The dies have pumpkins with designs on them. Here's a couple of them and there's the leaf and there's the banner. There's the piece that cuts out this piece. The pumpkin which cuts out this piece. A couple of these flourishes and um, uh, there's the individual flower. So that is the stamp set and the dies are called Rustic pumpkin dies and um, I like I said I'm changing it up this time I'm going to use this banner with a couple of these leaves this time so again we're here and we've got uh, the Cajun craze then you need a piece of white that is three and three quarters by five to layer for the inside and then for the outside, I have cut this piece, which is three inches by five and a quarter, or by five, oops, gonna have to trim that off, by five to uh, layer on top here. And then I've also cut two pieces. This is one of the yellows from the back side, uh, one of the papers that's in here. And then there's a green, and there's my green. And then um, I've also cut and colored a couple of those green leaves to save a little bit of time. So there's my leaves. And I thought this time I would use this banner. And I stamped it in early espresso and I stamped it in mossy meadow. 
and we'll see which one looks better when we get to, to that place. But that's what you need to make the card. The first thing we can do is layer our uh, Cajun Craze pieces. To the front of the card, this is really a very simple card, very fast and easy. I'm going to grab a silicone mat and add some adhesive. To the green and the yellow and I'm going to start with the yellow and put it here with a little bit of a margin there and then the green so I'm just going to leave about a quarter of an inch of the yellow showing and add this green. And then the same thing with my pattern paper here. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, it's the pattern paper that's a little bit big. So I'm going to use my trimmer and cut that down. Okay, so we'll just attach this. And set that to match the top and the bottom and leave a margin around the side. So there we go. That is the front of the card done. What I have is these two banners. That's done in early espresso and then this one is done in the green and I think I like the green better. So I'm going to put some dimensionals on this and put it in place. I'm going to set this down right along here on the bottom. And then I've got these two leaves and I'm just going to add a little bit of seal to the back of those leaves. and tuck them underneath here, one going one way and the other one going the other way. And because all you see underneath that banner is those stems, I decided to do that. Okay, now then, um, for the inside, I've got my piece of white. So I'll add that to the inside of the card. And I think on this one, I'm going to add some stripes of the, of the green and the yellow. Um, and I didn't, the inside of the other one looks awfully plain to me. So I'm going to add this. Oh, it would have been nicer if I'd have done it straight. <laughs> there. And then I need a little piece of green. And I'm going to add that right next to that here on the inside. I think I like that look a little bit better. that had that individual little flower and I think what I'm going to do is stamp it a couple of times and I'm going to stamp it in Cajun Craze. Doggone it, I got an edge. So what I'm going to do is 
put a post-it note on here and see if I can over stamp that flower. And now I got a bigger edge. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have to do it one more time to fix this. Never give up on a piece of stamping. So it's a little messy, but I've got my three flowers on there, and I think that'll do just fine. So uh, be smarter than me. This, uh, I noticed on the other one, um, another stamp in this particular set, that these edges are quite large. So it may be that I have to trim those edges off. Uh, and I'll show you what I do when I do that. Might as well. Um, I'll take this off of the block. And see how big that edge is on that side? That's going to catch ink for sure. And I will just trim that edge down. And just take that whole piece off and I think I will have better luck um, when the edges are a little closer to the stamp they work a little bit better and so I'm just going to do a little surgery here and I think that'll work I'm going to try it on a piece of scratch paper That'll be much cleaner stamping in the future because it won't catch the edge. So, little tip for you there. That's how you do that. Um, and, of course, once that's done, you can't return your stamp to Stampin' Up! because you've <laughs> for, for any reason because you've uh, managed to do that surgery on it. But it'll make your stamping life a lot easier. So, there we go. That's the inside of the card. And then I thought it might be kind of interesting. Have you seen this stuff in the catalog? And it is the Pearlized Enamel Effects Basics White. And it comes in black, which also looks a bit more like charcoal. And this one, which looks awfully pink, but they're calling it real red, and it does come out pretty red. I'll show you here um, these things. And what you do to use them is you drop a little drop and just pick up. And you can make your little dot, if you will, bigger or smaller depending on how much stuff you put on there. But that's what the red looks like. Let me show you the black. And like I said, the black almost looks like um, a gray and silver color. And you can just put a little dot, and it takes about 15 minutes to dry, between 15 and 20, depending on how thick your dot is. I've experimented with it. And then this one is a pearlized white. And this one is a pearlized white. And it, they're very pretty. I'm going to bring that up a little bit so you can see them. And like I say, they take about 15 minutes to 20 minutes to, uh, and I'm going to turn it this way, to dry. You can see on some of these where I just put the drop down and then picked it up, it makes kind of a very raised dot. And they take, like I say, 15 or 20 minutes. And I thought it would be kind of fun to use these on here. And I'm just going to put little white pearl dots on this one. And look at the size of that bottle and how much you're using. So something like this will just last forever. And so, and you can put, like I said, different sized ones down. 
and you can mix and match. I think this black would go really well with this. Um, so I'm going to put a little black one right down here on there and maybe another little black one down here and here just so that it's not lonely. <laughs> and I will say that you need to get these capped and capped tightly because if you if you don't what will happen is the medium dries in the tube and then uh, you have to kind of plumb it and what I found uh, of course I've already done that so I found just uh, this little paper clip can just go down there and, and uh, open it back up again if it gets stuck Anyway, so there we go, and that's another of the new products, and we'll just be careful with this one because it's got that little wet piece on it. But that is my project for the day. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I do so appreciate it. I think I like the rhinestones better. I like the sparkle, although the pearl in the white does give it some sparkle. You'll have to tell me which one you like better. This one I used Sending Hugs. I can't remember what stamp set this came from right now, but I'll put that up on the on the video for you. So um, that's it for me. Uh, let's see. Celebration is going on. There's a join offer with a beautiful um, planner. Nice, great, big one, eight by nine and a half. And all of the pages and, and a 28 stamp stamp set that goes with that and um, let's see uh, my prize draw is a $60 shopping spree on me and you put yourself in the drawing by putting an order of any size on my store lbedinger.stampinup.net uh, and you can get to it through my blog www.inkandingenuity.com so um, again that's it for me I'll be back soon with more cards more projects and more tips oh one more thing, I do have on my blog now um, retired items for sale under Shop With Me. There's a whole bunch of them, 25 pages of them, and we're adding to it all the time. With the um, other catalog just retiring, we're in the process of adding those to the blog as well. So take a look, um, and they're very, very reasonably priced. Um, and uh, if you get a chance, uh, take a look and check often because they change quite a bit. So uh, thanks again, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.